Welcome back to the Virgo channel. My name is Laura. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to do a general message for Virgo. Know that energy is fluid. Always interpret the message as it best resonates with you. I always notice that the message goes to the person that needs to hear it. It's just the way that it goes. So part of the message will resonate with one and the other will resonate with the cross watcher. So um, like I said, just take that to mind also know if you have never been to my channel that i like to go deep within my reading so we do look at the spiritual blocks the shadows see how they play it as karmic themes within your experiences as well as everything else all right also if you want to enter it within a free reading with me you gotta like the video subscribe to the channel and write the word of the video in your comment bar the word of the video is always the underlining energy that tells me why everyone's doing what they're doing all right let's just see what it is and we're going to jump right on in resentment fell out resentment um well well then like i'm feeling like you're connected to somebody that you know is just really angry and they're they're really angry at everything including you they're really angry at you because they expected you to be someone that you weren't. They expected you to like fight for your position to be in their life. They expected you to tolerate a lot less than what you deserve. They're mad that they misjudged you. They're mad that almost like that you're leveling up and things are happening for you because this person is not in a happy place. And they're not in a happy place because they gave somebody else too much power at one time and I feel like the consequences of that it just keep on coming like every time this person feels like they're done paying or like they're going to be free like I feel like there's another obstacle that's put in this person's way like this person created like almost like a vendetta with somebody else that it's like they're like no you're going to pay and you're going to pay for what you did to me. And they just keep on slamming your person. So understand, your person is thinking about you. It's not like they're not. It's just they can't really do anything at this point in time. But there's a resentment almost like, like you're not waiting for them. Like there's a sense that they expected you to call them, see how they were doing. They almost feel like, you know that I'm going through a rough time right now. So you should be calling me. And the irony is I kind of feel like you're also going through not the easiest time, even though you're leveling up within your career. I feel like there's other things also going on in your life that this person is never there or it has never been there for you. So there's a sense of, you know, for those of you that aren't going through anything, I feel like you're like, you've never been in my life. So how dare you expect me to be there for you? So it's almost like this very strong spiritual connection that you have with this person where I feel like it's almost because you guys are continually fighting in the ether that this person procrastinates coming back. They can feel that you're not happy. They understand why you're not happy. They can't go back and change how things are. And there's a sense of also really caring, but feeling like you're going to tell them to go fuck off in a, in a real like in in blunt terms almost like i i know that you have feelings for me but you're still gonna tell me to go fuck off it's like because even i think i would do that like there's a sense that they're even looking at their own behavior at this point and being like i don't know why i really did what i did I feel like this person reacted and reacts so we're gonna see why i just channeled that little nugget of information by looking at the hidden truth. Now look at the hidden truth, and then we're gonna look at some triggers, and we're gonna look at not about the things. Of course, of course, of course, of course, we're gonna shut the phone off. Okay, I can't stop thinking about you. Again, this person does have feelings for you, but a part of the reason why they can't stop thinking about you is because of the way that they treated you. So there's a sense of, again, and the fact that they can feel like you're pissed off. Like there's a sense of that you're like, I'm done. 
with whatever this shit is, I'm done. And this person realizes that they should have did things a lot differently than how they did them. And so part of the thing is, is that I do care about you. I shouldn't have lied. I shouldn't have acted that way. I should do this. I should. This person is completely in their head obsessive. Ruminating. I wish I could share my good news with you. I feel like they're trying to make changes in their life. And eventually, whatever's going on in this person's life is eventually going to stop. I just think that the person that you once knew is not the person that you'll meet again, per se. This person comes back into your life, which I feel like they're trying to figure out a way to come back into your life. But again, you're not the same person who you were. And there's also a sense of they didn't treat you right. See, if they viewed you now as if you were like a lower energy, that would not be the problem. But it's almost like you like blew up. Like all of a sudden, everybody knows you. Everybody likes you. Everybody like your reputation's good. They're like, everything is like in, in alignment. Like this person actually, I think even looked online to see whether or not they could find dirt on you and they just couldn't find anything. So they're like, this person's really legitimate and they feel sheepish because they didn't trust that when they saw it. They looked at you for whatever your job was. Like maybe you, your job isn't like, maybe you don't work in the corporate world. So they were like, well, you know, who are you? And so they were looking at all the other, the outside things, the material things, instead of the heart, instead of what, how they felt. So it's like, I don't even know how to come back into, into your life. I can't even just pop in or just show up or finding out the truth brushed me. And I feel like that's like, you didn't really care about me. <laughs> you really didn't. And it's like, I feel like you did care about them. It's just you're not going to act like an asshole to yourself and degrade yourself. There was a sense that this person almost expected you to not have any feelings, not have any wants, not have any needs, not have any desires. And I feel like it's because, unfortunately, this person normally goes for people that it's not really, that they don't have to invest in. So people that they don't have to invest in settle for anything. Right. I mean, you don't care. Like if a person comes and goes into your life, they don't investment isn't always money. It's time. It's energy. It's focus. It's love. It's support. It's emotional support. This person is like emotionally not available. They're a very selfish person. They were a very selfish person. So they viewed you almost to be like who they always wind up with. And I don't know why they viewed that. Again, I am becoming a better person. They're becoming a better person because they see like, oh my God, how I viewed you was so different <laughs> than really who you are. And now it forces me to look at myself and I don't like what I see at all. And I'm looking around at my life and I don't like the people that I'm surrounded by. I don't like myself. And so understand soulmate is not every soulmate that comes into your life to do lovey lovey. Some soulmates come into your life to actually give you a punch in your face to be like, this is what it looks like. It's like this is because it's almost like this person's ego was so jagamunda that they didn't see anything past that. And that's not because they worked on themselves. That's because this person gets a lot of people to like fall in love with them. But, you know, if you go to, uh, I don't want to be mean, but it's like, if you go to the dumpster, also like, you know, you go to like a place where, you know, people are not really feeling good about themselves, like the local bar or the local, what hangout where people just, they don't have anything to do with their time. They don't really feel good about their life. They don't really feel. So any person that comes in is going to seem like a better than their life. So it doesn't really, it's not that your life is that great. It's that you're going to a place where to put your, you're putting yourself in a place that, that makes you appear better. 
where it's like you're that's a distorted perception for you again because someone you know hangs out in a place that they're lower than you you know but it's again your person was very ego it was they looked at people for the outside things like the car that they drove the the job that they had like the the materialistic and then more or less living from a facade and so because that facade it's not built on truth it collapses and so i believe that this person is resentful because it's almost like a lot of things are falling apart in this person's life. It's not just you, but it was really just self-righteous, you know, um, attitude that gave people like, again, just like, I'm so like negative. Like, I feel so negative being around you that I don't want to be around you. This is how you felt. And this is how this person makes a lot of people feel because they make this make people mad because they're selfish and then they're self-righteous mm -hmm. and they're coming not from the true self the higher self the god part of self and so they procrastinate they procrastinate in fixing things they procrastinate in in taking action they because it's like well now i don't know how to fix it well, now I don't know how. So again, they can feel like you are like impatient and it's creating a lot of anxiety for this person because they can feel it. You have a spiritual connection. They feel your hostility with them, but it's almost like now they are like a hostile, like it with themselves. So there's a little bit of mirroring energy and it's all because they know that they neglected you. They neglected you. But there's a part of you that's so angry because you waited for this person. So in that time that you were waiting for this person, you were actually self-neglecting yourself. Because waiting for a person that's emotionally not available is, is that. It's like this person was emotionally not available because they're not emotionally mature. If they're coming from this persona and then their, their life is like a... a house of cards that completely fell apart now they're looking and they're seeing you but you were always that person i feel like you're just a humble person you know i mean we have to be honest so i mean i'm gonna i have to look at the triggers i just have to um kept out again i feel like this is the way that they made you feel it's it's again i'm not gonna involve you in my life again this was this person's strategy too um I almost like I put myself around people that I feel are beneath me and then I have and then I give them breadcrumbs and they give me a lot and so I I act as if I'm self-righteous and that my life is almost too good so I keep them out so again only people that really feel bad about themselves is gonna put up with that like that's you know I mean and that's what this person tried to do. Like not involve you. Like where I feel like you saw this person out. You saw them having social. But that's the thing. It's like it was all staged. I don't really believe that this person had a life like that. I feel like maybe they belong to a few things. But they don't really feel comfortable in, in that ignored again that this is how this person made you feel so emotionally they pretty much you know uh like kept you out right emotionally they didn't give you anything almost trying to use like this reverse psychology to get you to give more displaced i felt out of place in a sense of not belonging that's what they all say <laughs> then all these cards say the same thing. They say the same thing. I pull through. They all say the same thing. So this person was like, okay, I felt out of place, like and a sense of not belonging. Well, that's because this person doesn't feel like they belong anywhere because they come from their facade. And your facade is not really who you are. You know, you who you are is sometimes you show up and you're right on target. And everything seems to fall into place. But other days, you're a hot fucking mess. You know what I mean? There is no perfect 
there is, we are, we find our style, we find our path. That's an unfoldment process between you and the divine. It's through, again, a walk, the spiritual walk where you're loving yourself because you're loving your life because you're investing in your life so a, a path opens this is what this person notices about you that you give the time and life is beginning to happen so they see you leveling up where they expect you to give to them so they never gave to you so there's a sense of they actually see who you are now and they have strong feelings, but it's like, how do you come back from that? It's like the whole time this person was emotionally abusive. I'm going to keep you displaced. I'm going to ignore you and you're going to feel kept out. It's like, motherfucker, go like that. You don't need to be in a relationship because this person's not around. So they kept trying to manipulate. And so now I feel like they're trying to strategize. That's just what I, uh, I'm feeling. Like there's a sense of almost like now I got to change my strategy because this person's ego is like almost like your mind. Like we were supposed to be together. It's like I just didn't want to have to do all this. I didn't realize like it was going to turn into all that. And so this person like should misjudge you. So there's a sense of that they're, they have resentment almost because, you know, I don't think I can fix it. And also like you weren't supposed to take it this far. It's like you weren't supposed to be abusive. You know, it's like that. And so that it brings it back to them. And again, the theme within their life, because you're not the only person that is like has resentment towards this person. So everybody's resentful. This person's resentful because like, how dare you react and every and you're like resentful, like how dare you like treat me like this? Ending seeds again. You're pretending that it's not ending, but it's time to let go and make a fresh start. So it's again like that. There again, like I don't believe that this is going to end, and that is what I felt. Like I said, this person's in their ego. This person's like. I don't like the way it passed out. So it's almost like, I want to come back, but I still don't want to give you anything. I want to be able to get the last word. It's like, I feel like there was a little bit of that energy because it's almost like you didn't act the way that you were supposed to act. And I'm pissed off at my life. I'm pissed off at everything, but you, you should have been here for me. It's not like, and it's, I don't, again, it's like a very distorted energy. Almost like you're like a property. Very scary. Very scary. Like this person's dick is very imbalanced, I feel like. Very imbalanced. Like almost like I'll feel like it's over when I say it's over. And it's like I'm seeing synchronicities like your name or 111 and working out what they mean. So again, this person is like obsessive. Like I feel like they're trying to figure out a way back. And because you're not giving them anything and they can't read anything on social media, maybe you're not on social media. It's like they can't find anything. They're like, what the signs, the universe, you know, that like so they're like trying to like be guided back but the thing is I feel like you're being divinely protected from this person <laughs> you know um it's like I'm going through a physical emotional ascension symptoms I need space and rest but from a higher perspective I'm releasing all the energy so this person goes through dark night of the soul right now right they're going through ascension symptoms because I think it's I think it's um you know, like you said, you weren't, you're leaving, you're, you're not in this person's life. You, you like this person like, isn't getting anything. So they're trying to figure out a way to come back to you without asking, by the way, without being emotionally vulnerable. And partially this person doesn't know whether it's because they really truly care or whether or not they're so pissed off that you didn't react and respond the way that they thought that you would and their life is a mess and they're looking to take it out. So there's a lot of different emotional energies going on right now. And partially that is because again, the ascension symptoms are they, this person has to look at themselves. They have to look at themselves and it's traumatic. 
it's traumatic for this person to see that somebody else could have walked away from them, have had like again, but not not being taken in their life, not ruined by their by their by their choices, by their energy. It's like and why I say that is because this person, like, I feel like every time their life gets good, they sabotage themselves because they had a big ego. And so I have to ask, why did you attract this person into your life? Because these are the inner child cards, right? It's like, you have to say, you're a mirror of whom what comes into your life. Why did this person come into your life? And it's, it's anchor, right? It's like you became a lot more grounded within yourself so maybe again you didn't grow up with support so you have always had to be your own anchor so you I feel like there's someone with that's like the wounded healer someone that would attract someone that was broken and love them to the point that that person would break you and that was a reoccurring karmic theme and that happens a lot of times if we grew up in a family where we didn't get the love and the support, the emotional support that we needed. So we then, you know, perceived ourselves through a certain way and then had um, adapted to certain behaviorisms and habits that blocked us from, first of all, creating ourselves, finding ourselves, because trauma will do that, emotional trauma. If we don't feel safe, we won't go out and find ourselves. But also through trying to heal ourselves through actually trying to heal someone else by coming in and having someone come into our lives for us to love but then working on that person not working on ourselves and really having that person leave at in a better place than when we found them so it's again the wounded healer so needing to be an anchor for yourself and really, if you can see, this person's the same person. It's just there's a child, mm -hmm. right? And the child self is on that adult now. So again, the child self is that innocent part of self. And that is where we want to give and where we want to love. And that is the part of God, right? It's again, that part of ourselves because we're the most pure when we're children. We don't have an ego at all. That's why we're more sensitive. So if we didn't have the support growing up and we were more sensitive, then like I said, we didn't go out into the world to create ourselves because we didn't feel like we had roots. So again, being connected to this, this person gave you absolutely fucking nothing, which probably was like the same karmic theme, which is what you felt growing up, which is, they say that they love me. I know that they do in their weird way, but they give nothing. It's like they love. So the the um the spiritual the spiritual lesson is the it's the the spiritual karmic theme I should say is that you don't feel that you're deserving of love when really that you are loved. Because you have God inside of you and God is love. It's unconditional love. It's the energy of all this higher consciousness of what unconditional love is, right? And but forgiveness would be part of it. So if we have wounds in the root chakra, a lot of times we don't have, we need to forgive. We're up in our head too much. And if we're up in our head, we're not procreating. We're not grounded and, and can feeling connected to the earth and other people we don't feel safe nurturance so again didn't wasn't nurtured growing up so you have to reparent yourself and you're the person that needs to do it for yourself and we nurture ourselves by actually becoming more grounded so you may say well i have a lot of anxiety well then you have to recondition your body and mind in order to get more grounded it's like and that helps you because it's like when you become more grounded in your physical body you're able to be guided by your intuition your higher self you can have better discernment and again and that's that knowing that's that clear cognizance that everybody has but we have to be 
quiet and calm and at peace to be able to be guided by it, to hear it. And so mm -hmm. that nurturance is, is to heal ourselves mm -hmm. by anchoring ourselves, by, by becoming the parents. That means mm -hmm. getting better habits. And mm -hmm. again, nurturance is what I associate your habits with, like mm -hmm. getting up in the morning, eating a good breakfast, maybe mm -hmm. doing some you know physical activity, connecting with friends if you don't have friends go out and join things go out and join things anyway continue to learn continue to grow nurturance is that that's how you ground that's how you reparent you mm -hmm. give yourself what you didn't have and because understand you're just going to attract people that are going to come in and give nothing like this jerk I gave nothing. And now, of course, they see exactly who you are. And but it's like you're still haven't seen everything that's out there for you. It's again, gifts. So you uncovered your gifts. So not all the time are our shadows blocking wounds. A lot of times we find our gifts because, again, if you're in survival, you're not creating yourself you're not finding yourself it says in the bible be like childlike for a reason mm -hmm. and the reason why is because children have no expectation they just go out into the world and they find themselves mm -hmm. and the path opens god makes a way where there is no way and it's always the better way we can put the energy out there the best way that we know how but God is only, always the one that will make the better plan that gives us things that we couldn't even believe that we could have. So it was it's about you living in faith right now and not going back to what's familiar because what's familiar was not enough and didn't bring you joy and didn't bring you happiness. So I always like to end off by asking spirit, so what is the energy also that we can pull in right now Sometimes it still makes us feel bad because we could be like, well, I like that person nevertheless. And the spirit says, yes, because there's nothing else in its place. It's like if you only had a, 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 a three-day-old hamburger from McDonald's uh, and, and you know how it tastes anyway, the first day it's not really that great. And then you have a top of the line, like favorite food that you have from the most expensive restaurant. There's no comparison. The spirit is saying is you haven't gone out and lived and left in your life. You just find your gifts. Nurture yourself. Find yourself. Believe me. You'll meet somebody. Because whenever you give yourself love, you attract love because you became the vibration of love. Goodness, I refine my character and overcome difficulties by remaining positive. I calm my heart and illuminate my intellect to transform shadow into light. I consciously manifest goodness in and around me. I improve my qualities for the benefit of all. So spirit saying, this is all about like you finding your goodness, but giving and receiving of love and that's through your path and finding your path that you may be just starting to find your path where spirits say going out into the world and becoming the anchor for yourself and connecting to people and nurturing yourself through creating yourself and connecting to people is how you really find your goodness right and so you raise your vibration you don't attach to this person where spirit's saying you're at a good vibration. This person will bring you down. You remain going on the upswing by continuing to refine yourself because that's when you're going to attract the person that you want into your life. This is a story that so it was saying, spirit saying that this is a karmic test. Things are happening for you. Don't let this, don't let this person come into your life now just because they have this epiphany when they weren't, they weren't awakened and they still need healing is what I say. I'm going to leave that there, Virgo. I hope that you resonated. I'll talk to you guys soon.